Hi, I'm Random Girl Singing. I'm a partnered Twitch streamer and a Stream Elements champion. And in today's video, we're gonna walk through how to set up your alert box, specifically how to customize your alerts and set up alert variations and random variations using the overlay manager in Stream Elements. So if you have not done so already, I highly recommend that you check out the overlay manager setup guide. This video has a lot more information about how to use the overlay manager um, and a few tips and tricks that you might not already know. If you have already made it to this video, I'm going to assume you have some knowledge of the overlay manager and we're gonna cruise right into setting up your alert box and working with variations. So let's get started in our dashboard. So from here, we're going to navigate to my overlays and this is where you can create a blank overlay or edit an overlay that you've already been working on or added. I've already added one from the themes gallery, this beautiful animated super theme. So I'm going to click on go to overlay editor. And now here within our overlay editor, I can simply find the alert box widget on my super theme and start editing. Um, if I were starting from scratch, I would want to navigate up here to widgets and find my alert box within the widgets menu and add it. And you can find a lot of other great widgets here too, uh, such as stream labels, stream goals. Um, we've got our hype cup now. You can add store redemption alerts. You can add capogen, contest giveaways, chat box, you name it. It's in the widgets menu. Uh, but for now, since I'm working in a super theme, I'm just going to stick with uh, the layout that they've already provided me. So these are all labeled. I'm just going to find the one that says alert box right here and click on it. Now this has brought up my alert variations menu. From here, I can choose to uncheck and exclude certain events from being triggered in my alert box, or I can go in and I can uh, customize each of these alerts and even create alert variations, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start within the subscriber alert. This right here is your default alert. What a default alert is, is it is what's going to be triggered um, when there are no variations set up for an alert and no particular parameters are met within a variation. So at this point, anybody subscribes, anybody gets this alert, this is my default alert. And I'm gonna go in and click it on the emulator so that you can see it. At this point, I think this is a great place to work on some variation settings. Um, Particularly, I wanna create some variations for my higher tiered subscribers. Um, clicking on variation settings, you can see that I don't currently have any. Just click on add new variation and we can get to work. Now this template that has popped up here is based upon the default alert settings that you've already created within those alerts. So anything that we've already set as far as um, the image that's going to pop up, um, the layout of the alert, the volume, the message, the duration, uh, the text to speech, etc. that is going to be copied into this new variation. So we're going to have to go in and adjust all of this information. I'm going to make a variation for my tier two subs. And in my variation parameters, I'm going to choose subscription tier. It looks like you can also do months subscribed, which is very cool. Um, exact would be the condition and then 999 would be the tier that I want to select and I want to select some new media for this I want to grab an image of my tier 2 emote and put that in there um, and at this point I think this is fine for a variation I'm gonna go ahead and save this so now I have a tier 2 sub variation I'm going to create another variation for my tier 3 subs and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Go and indicate my variation parameters. I'm going to set a new image and I'm going to save that variation. Now, when I have uh, somebody come subscribe uh, at either a regular 499 sub or a Twitch Prime sub, they're going to get this default alert and if somebody comes and subscribes at a tier two sub, or a tier three sub, they're going to get a special alert variation. So that's how you set those up. Okay, now that we've talked about how to set up alert variations and also have those alert variations work alongside your default alerts, let's talk about how to set up random alerts. 
So for example, let's just say that whenever anybody subscribes to my channel, um, I want a different photo to pop up. Um, let's go ahead and stay within our subscriber settings and just add those variations. So for instance, I'm just going to name this uh, sub one and make my parameters uh, months subscribed at least one and uh, set an image for that. Let's just say I want it to be this image. I'm gonna go ahead and save that variation. Now let's make a new variation with the exact same parameters. Month subscribed at least one, and we're gonna change the, the image of that too. So you can see that now that I've created that new variation, this sub one variation I just created grayed out. And that's because they are exactly the same parameters. If I did not select to pick this alert randomly, it would choose the most recent one that I created, or I would need to delete this one so that it would go back and use this previous alert that I made. What I want though is for it to pick randomly. So I'm going to go ahead and select pick an alert randomly when more than one matches. And that's how you can have random alerts working right alongside your different alerts that have particular parameters. So now if we save and go to the event emulator and just emulate a subscriber event, you'll see that different images are popping up. And you will also notice that this is not the same image as the default alert. The default alert is now not being activated as it's taking its alerts from the variations. So since the default alert was set up to alert uh, whenever somebody came and subbed for at least one month, now that we have variations uh, for somebody who comes and subs for at least one month, it's going to pick strictly from the variations and not use the default alerts at all. And that can be very confusing sometimes for people. Um, they'll go and they'll change their default alert settings and they won't understand uh, why it's not saving or why the alert isn't popping up in the emulator. And it's usually because there is a variation created that has the exact same parameters as the default. And you'll see that once we delete these two variations, that have the same parameters for the default and go and uh, emulate the subscriber event again, it goes right back to the default setting. So as you can see, it is super simple to customize your alerts and create alert variations and random variations using your alert box in the Stream Elements Overlay Manager. Once you have everything customized to your liking, all you've got to do is click Launch Overlay, copy the URL, and paste it into a new browser source in your broadcasting software with the correct dimensions, and you are good to go. So that's about it. I really hope you found this video helpful, and be sure to check out the Overlay Manager setup guide for more helpful hints about working within the Overlay Manager, and drop by and join our Discord server if you've got any questions or just wanna chat about stream elements. We've got a great group of folks over there that are happy to help. Thank you so much for watching, and happy streaming.